In this tutorial, we're going to look at importing InDesign templates into Affinity Publisher. With the 1.8 update, Affinity Publisher can now import IDML files. This means we can export our work from Adobe InDesign and now use it within Publisher. So we'll start there. How to export an IDML in Adobe InDesign so we can get it into Publisher. Looking at Adobe InDesign, we have two very similar methods. Make sure you have your InDesign template or document open. Then, let's go to File, Export. From the resulting dialog, go ahead and give your exported file a name, and then we want to choose IDML as the file type that we're exporting as. It's that easy. Just click Save when you're done. We can also do this via File, Save As, or File, Save a Copy. You'll notice that the dialog here is pretty similar, and so is the process. Just name your file, and make sure you select IDML as the type you'd like to save as. This is really important because typically, by default, InDesign saves as an INDD file. This won't work in Publisher, so make sure you're saving or exporting as the right file type. Now let's jump into Affinity Publisher. It's just as easy to import. Let's go to File, and then Open. Select your IDML file, and then click Open. There you have it. Your IDML file from Adobe InDesign is here in Affinity Publisher. Now, if you're a longtime InDesign user like me, a lot of the content here in Publisher is going to look familiar. Let me give you a few quick tips to get you started with using your IDML file in Publisher, especially for those of us who may be more familiar with InDesign. A lot of your expected basics, like your pages, your layers, your tools, are all generally docked here by default. If you can't find a particular panel, take a look at View, Studio. There's a whole lot nested here, like your swatches, your character panel, layers, and more. To edit our text, go ahead and use the Frame Text tool. Then I can just click any of the existing text boxes here to edit them. Another essential basic is placing content, like images. As you may have guessed, head to File, and then Place. However, in the resulting dialog, make sure to select all documents here from the visible file types. Then, you can select your image, and place it into your document. So, there you have it. Importing InDesign templates into Affinity Publisher is pretty easy and straightforward. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough and it helped you out. If it did, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to our channel. Thanks so much for watching and happy designing!